Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Come with me to enter this new world, this new body mind confidence. I hope that you are well today. As you can see, I was going for a run, enjoying myself, and I did the most spectacular fall. Uh, it was really magical. It was like a slow motion fall, 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 and then my knee kind of touched the ground, and I created this beautiful hole. And of course, I was bleeding. It was, uh, it was something. But today, I want to invite you to do a little workout for the abdominal muscles, the glutes as well and what i really like in yoga is that we work um, the muscles that are quite deep so for example uh, yoga is great to do a bit of workout for the diaphragm which is the breathing muscle also great for the psoas which connects uh, the spine to the hips so anyway this is going to be a great workout but we are not going to do crazy things we are simply going to practice the bridge pose and you will see it will still be very intense very deep sensations really good for the body also a disclaimer for people who will tell me i don't have abdominal muscles you do have abdominal muscles otherwise you will be falling on the ground so don't worry just take your time Notice how your body feels when you're practicing this, uh, this pose and uh, really enjoy. Let's go. So to practice the bridge pose, I'm going to invite you to lie down and to have your feet as wide as your pelvis and not too far away, but not too close. Just find a place where it's comfortable, where your feet can rest. And I like to practice this pose to really work out with the abdominal muscles with my arms resting, palms facing up. For some people, however, especially if you're beginning, uh, it will be easier with the palms on the ground because you will also be able to help yourself with this and to push. And what we are going to start to do is to gently shift the pelvis. So you will notice that you probably have a kind of hole between your lower back and the ground. And you are simply going to shift the pelvis so this hole disappears without pushing with your feet. So this is very subtle. And for this, it's like pressing the lower back on the ground. You will have to use those muscles. I can feel it there because I'm not using my feet. I'm not using anything else apart from my belly, my stomach. And I'm still breathing, by the way. And I can relax, so relax everything. I can notice that my lower back might be getting off the ground. What is this noise? And again, I'm going to press my lower back on the ground using those muscles. And this time, I'm going to do it a little bit more. So I feel like just the beginning of my pelvis, which is around my coccyx, uh, is lifting off the ground. And of course, I'm using a bit my feet, but I'm also especially using those muscles. And I relax. And again, I'm shifting my pelvis. This time I can push with my feet to lift my pelvis off the ground. And it's like rolling my spine off the ground, so I'm really rounding this. And I can start to use my glutes. So slowly roll my spine off the ground. Yes, and now I'm really using those glutes. <laughs> and slowly I'm going to control the weight down. And for this I need to use my belly as well. And it's like massaging my back. It's quite nice feeling. And pelvis goes down last. And again, slowly. First, without lifting the pelvis, using these muscles, and then without tensing the ankles, pushing with my feet and really using those muscles. And finding the space. Also, I can feel my weight shifting towards my shoulder. Neck is relaxed. And slowly, slowly going down. So, I will have to use my belly to control and not to collapse. Ah, relax. 
And last time, shifting the pelvis, pushing with the feet, using the glutes. So it's like that feeling that the glutes are getting closer to each other. Ah, and I can enjoy also my shoulder blades sliding. We are going to stay a little bit there, so breathe. And slowly, slowly, finding the ground. And just allowing the knees to float towards the chest. Relaxing everything there, relaxing the lower back. I mean, when I say that, you don't have to do anything, you just have to stay there. So, <laughs> but trying too much also is nice. And finding a way to roll to one side and to use the crown to come back. And it's magic to a sitting pose. That's it for me today. Well done, thank you for following this exercise, practicing with me. Practicing the coming into this pose and going out is really, really good for the body. I, this is my favorite pose probably that I do every single day. It's very good for the belly, the stomach, the abdominal muscles, it's great for the glutes. It's great for the spine because it's kind of creating some mobility between the bones and so if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to leave a comment, share your experience with me. And I'm looking forward to seeing you very, very soon. Merci beaucoup. That was great. Yes, let's practice yoga together. Become strong and flexible. Have a beautiful day. See you soon. Merci.